Okay, so in 2020, Liverpool beat Flamengo to become the Club World Cup world champions. Henderson's ball is lucky for Mane. Mane with one man to beat. It's Firmino. Is this it for Liverpool? Roberto Firmino! The Brazilian against the Brazilians. And Liverpool have finally unlocked the door. There have been many different forms of this competition. The Intercontinental Cup the Toyota Cup and even earlier ones. But next year, FIFA plans to do something different. In 2021, it's going to be a much bigger competition in China. In this lesson, I am going to discuss, is it a good idea or is it a bad idea? See you in the classroom. Okay, so the plan is eight teams from Europe, six teams from South America, and the rest from around the world. I don't know how they will be selected, but I know that two teams are definitely there. They are Jiangsu Sunning and Persepolis from Iran. The plan is to hold it every four years, starting in 2021 in China. It will be replacing the Confederations Cup, the national team competition, and it will be in summer. So I will give you some reasons why I think it is a good idea and why I think maybe it's a bad idea. Okay, so the good ideas. So now in its current format, the competition, the Club World Cup, is not so prestigious in Europe. And I don't mean to be arrogant about this, it's just that there's not much attention on this competition by the fans. The clubs are happy, the players are happy to win it, but the fans, I think, don't appreciate the importance of this competition. I think one of the reasons the fans don't appreciate it so much is you only play two matches. So I think a bigger competition means more matches against top teams, which equals a better competition. So fans would appreciate it more, I think. Also, a good idea is it is in summer. So there will be more media focus and attention. Currently, it is in the middle of the European season. So the media does not focus on it so much. The Premier League is happening, the Champions League is happening. I know in South America it's at the end of the season, so that's maybe why there is more focus on it, I think. But if it is in summer, I think there will be generally more focus and attention on the competition. Also, smaller clubs can test themselves against big clubs. So there will be 24 teams, 8 from Europe, 6 from South America, but teams from all over the world and it will be a challenge they will be able to test themselves against the big clubs which i think is what every player or many clubs and their fans want but there is also maybe people who think it is a bad idea and maybe because there are more games for players i think tony cruz said something about this recently the players are playing a lot of games and if you need to play a tournament at the end of the season, so in the tournament there will be eight groups of three, the winners of the group will qualify to a knockout stage, it's more matches, and the players maybe are not so happy about this. Also, there is a fear. So the people are scared that the European teams would dominate the competition. So the European teams have the most money, maybe the best squads, but in a one-off match, like in its current format, a Brazilian team or a South American team can beat a European team. But over more matches in a group stage, maybe they might lose and it might be embarrassing. I know some Brazilian fans are worried that it would be embarrassing for some teams if they lose heavily. But I don't know about this, really. I don't know. I think, okay, European teams are strong and I think Europe is worried that it might just become another Champions League. So the top teams qualify from the group stages. There will be eight groups of three teams. 
then there will be a knockout stages and it will be the European teams who will dominate the competition. So why have the competition? It's just like another Champions League. So maybe people think that it, that's what will happen. Also, the Confederations Cup has been good to watch and it will be replacing the Confederations Cup. Some national teams have some really good memories of this competition and I think it's an exciting competition to watch. Also, why China? So China is probably not the best atmosphere to watch football. I don't want to be disrespectful, but I know that maybe they want to be neutral and, and sponsorship money plays a big part and probably China is giving the most sponsorship money, but it's not the best place to play football. Also, because it is every four years, teams will be different from when they qualified. So maybe you qualify for the competition and then three years, four years later, you are in the competition. And especially for smaller clubs, maybe South American clubs, big, uh, richer clubs buy their players. So if they have a good season, maybe the next season they have a totally different team and they are a team in transition, so they are not as strong. But they have to wait four years to play in this competition. So they cannot give a good account of themselves and represent their club to the best of their ability. Overall, yes, there are some negative points, but I think it will be a good idea. It would raise the profile of the competition in Europe and I think it would be an amazing competition to win. Then you can maybe truly declare yourself as world champions. What do you think? Thank you for watching. Please comment below with your ideas and your comments. See you in the next video.